that is to that's it. You're getting good. I think numbers love you. Fun with numbers. Fun with numbers. Let's have fun with numbers. Fun with numbers. Fun with numbers. Miss Kimmy, hi. Juliana, thank you for helping out the kids with their math. Their skills are really improving. It's amazing. How did you do it? Well, it's a secret, Miss Kimmy. <laughs> but like anything, if you put fun into it, learning can be exciting. Well, whatever you're doing, keep it up. It really works. I have to go now, Juliana. You have a nice day. Okay, you too. Bye. Do you like to dance? Do you like funky music? Because if you do, I've got the class for you. Hip-hop homeroom. Yep, that's what I said, hip-hop homeroom. It's a special place where learning is fun and exciting. We can learn lots of things together in hip-hop homeroom. It's my secret. Can you keep a secret? Because if you can, I'll show you how my teacher friend, Mr. Tommy, puts fun into learning math. Whoa, what a rainy day out today. Hi everyone, it's time for Mr. Tommy's totally cool dance class. Are you ready? Yeah! Hey kids, it's time for dance class. Did you know that you can have fun with numbers in dance class? Five, six, seven, eight. We are here to have some fun. Numbers are our friends. Add some, subtract some. Find out what we have. Fun with numbers, fun with numbers. Let's have fun with numbers, fun with numbers, fun with numbers. Let's have fun with numbers. Take addition, one plus one. One 
equals five. Let's do addition, addition, addition. Let's do addition, addition, addition. <laughs> Hey guys, Nikki and Mel are practicing their baton twirling today. We're gonna peek in on them and see what's up. <laughs> <laughs> One baton twirler is practicing here. And one baton twirler practicing there. Can you tell us how many baton twirlers are practicing today? Yeah, that's right, two. That is so cool. Two baton twirlers are practicing here. One plus one equals two. Sing with me if you want to add with me. All you have to do is count with me. One plus one equals two. One plus two equals three. Addition. That's right, Dina. It's time for the math swing. Come on, kids, come over here. Let's do some math. Let's learn some math. Take those numbers, add them up. Let's do some math. Let's learn some math. Three plus two equals five. Five plus one equals six. Six plus two equals eight. Eight plus one equals nine. Math swing. Let's all do the math swing. Add those numbers, math swing. Let's all do the math swing. Add those numbers, come on and do the math swing. Come on and do the math swing. Hey there kids, you're catching on. Let's do some math, let's learn some math. You need to take on more addition. Let's do some math. Let's learn some math. Three plus one equals four. Four plus two equals six. Five plus two equals seven. Seven plus one equals eight. Math swing. Let's all do the math.
great exercise. All right, I'll give you an easier one. What is one plus one? Kelly? One plus one equals two. Yep, very good. Three plus two equals five. Good job. Five plus one equals that's right, six. We love surprises! Do you like surprises? It's Dina's birthday today. We are going to surprise her on her birthday. We brought a cake and candles and some awesome gifts. What time is it? Are you guys done setting up yet? Not oh. yet. Yeah. Let's see how many gifts we have so far. Two. Just two? Oh wait, here's one under this chair. Two gifts plus one gift equals three gifts. Two plus one equals three. Three gifts. There'll be more. Everyone hasn't arrived yet. Oh wait, here comes Nikki and Kelly. We are here for Dina's birthday. We are going to su su surprise her. Look, Nikki has two gifts. And Kelly has two gifts. Two gifts plus two gifts equals four gifts. Two plus two equals four. Wow, four gifts. Dina's going to be so happy. I wonder what's in this big one. Oh, hey. Andrew! If it was my birthday, I would want a new puppy, just like Kevin. Oh, but it's not your birthday, it's Dean. Here she comes! Here she comes! Here she comes. Here she comes. Hi, everyone, hi! Wasn't that fun? A big surprise! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Let's have a happy birthday! I wonder what's in there. Tommy, I can't find my dancers. Can you help me find my dancers? I don't know, Dina. The last time I saw them, they were getting on the math path. Everybody dance! 
and try my best. Hey kids, how's it going? We were all thinking about what we want to be when we grow up. That was our assignment in writing class. My essay was about music and singing. I love to sing. It makes me feel better when I sing. So I'd like to be a singer when I grow up. I wrote about baseball. I'm going to be a famous baseball player one day. And Kevin, what did you write about? I had a bit of trouble with my assignment. The problem is, I like a lot of things. I like Baseball, like Andrew does. I like recess and gym class, and singing and dancing, and music. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Maybe a teacher, or a nurse, or a police officer, or how about a farmer, or a photographer that takes pictures all day. There certainly are a lot of choices. No wonder Kevin doesn't know what he wants to be when he grows up. I love having fun with numbers. Mad. 
want to help Ashley with her math today. You can help too. Let's start by counting how many children are jumping rope. Can you count with me? One, two, three. Three children are jumping rope. Let's see if Ashley counts to three. See Ashley? Three children jumping rope. One, two, three. One, Two, three, three children. If we really want to help Ashley with her math, we need to add three plus three and find out what we have. Let's add some more. Can we add three more to help Ashley with her math? Yes, we make three. Three more children are jumping rope. One, two, three. Can Ashley figure out the total number of children jumping rope? I did it! Three jumpers plus three jumpers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six jumpers. You got it! Three plus three equals six. Six children jumping rope. I think Ashley's ready for her big test now. What do you think? I love jumping rope. It's my favorite. All right, who knows what five plus five is? Ooh, um, Andrew. Five plus five equals 10. Very good. Seven plus three equals 10. <laughs> One, two, ready, start. 
that again. Dina, maybe the music might sound a little bit better if we take one player away. How many players do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight students playing their instruments. Eight, eight players. I think we should take away one and see what we have. Okay, eight and take away one. Hmm, eight, take away one is seven, seven players. Eight minus one equals seven. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> Oh my, we need to work some more. Let's take away two. One, two players. Seven players minus two players equals five players. Seven minus two equals five. Five players. Let's try again with five players. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, ready, play. The music is getting better. Let's take away two more. Are you sure? Yes, I think three players will sound just great. So five, take away two more, is three. Five minus two equals three. Three players. Okay, again. One, two, ready, play. Let's try one, one at a time, to practice and get it right. Three players, and let's take away two. So three, take away two, is one. Three, Minus two is one. One player practicing here. Okay, one, two, ready, play. I have a terrific idea. Let's have the kids practice their math and their music together. Let's have the kids do the subtraction dance. Great yeah. idea! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Hey kids, what's next? Let's bop to the beat. Hey you, come over here. Let's all do the subtraction dance. One minus one equals zero. Two minus one equals one. Three minus one equals two. Four minus one equals three. Five minus one equals four. Six minus one equals five. Subtraction, subtraction dance. What a whole lot of fun. This will be subtraction, subtraction dance. Let's all do the subtraction dance. Subtraction, subtraction, subtraction. Two minus two equals zero. Three minus two equals one. Four minus two equals two. Five minus two equals three. Six minus two equals four. Seven minus two equals five. Subtraction, subtraction, dance. What a whole lot of fun. This will be subtraction, subtraction. Kevin, 
I think you're doing just fine enjoying all of your classes. Just do your best, try hard, and have fun. You'll find something that you like to do the best, and maybe that will be what you do when you grow up. Hey guys! Thinking about what you want to be when you grow up? I think about it all the time. My dad wants me to be an airplane pilot. I think that'd be a pretty hard job. I'd have to work really hard in school to be an airplane pilot. I have fun in science. Mr. Tommy, if I like science, what can I be when I grow up? Well, there are a lot of people who work in the science field. You could become a doctor or a, um, a scientist who works in a lab or even an astronaut. Wow, I like all those jobs. I can't wait to see what happens. How about we try some subtraction? Five minus one equals that's right, four. Four minus one equals, that's right, I three. Three minus one equals, yeah, two. Isn't this fun? We're all doing the subtraction dance. Three minus three equals zero. Four minus three equals one. Five minus three equals two. Six minus three equals three. Seven minus three equals four. Eight minus three equals five. Subtraction.
one baton twirler is practicing here. And one baton twirler practicing here. <laughs> Green is one of my favorite colors. Orange, too. Seven plus three equals that's right. Ten. Four. Take away one equals that's right. Minus one. What we have. Back to the beat. Back to the beat. 